welcome if you're new via here be sure to click the subscribe button and also click the bell icon so that you be notified about videos uploaded from this channel the topics that we'll be discussing today whitney says two cops were involved in gun buying with clansman gang gangsters son fatally shot by a security guard after killing mom a self-styled farmer Don has testified that at least two police officers were involved in gun transaction involving the Spanish town St. Catherine based one Don faction of the Klansman gang. The startling claim was made when the witness was being cross-examined by defense attorney Kemar Robinson, who represent Dwayne Salmon, one of the 33 accused persons in the ongoing Klansman gang trial in the Home Circuit Court in downtown Kingston. According to the witness, a Salmon alleged role in the criminal network was to repair firearms. Further, the accused, the witness said, was the dealer in the illegal guns and ammunition. Those details were provided by the witness when Robinson sought to get clarity on which community in Spanish Town two firearms were allegedly purchased by the witness from Salmon. The ex-gangster said he made an error in the location he gave in his statement to the police. He then went on to tell the court that a member of the Jamaica Constabulary Force had given the gang money to purchase an illegal firearm. Additionally, another police officer, the witness alleged, was at the location where the illegal weapon was bought. Meantime, defense attorney Kemi Shamito, who represent the defendant Brian Morris, alias Rooster, suggested that the witness lied when he testified that he saw her client killed a deportee called Rasta in Jones Avenue, Spanish Town. According to Minto, the witness only knew about the murder through pictures that were shown to him by investigators. Additionally, she put it to the witness that he was not at the scene of the crime. But the witness, a former gangster, contended that he was at the crime scene and he saw Morris with a gun that he used to kill Rasta. He, however, admitted that the police showed him photographs in order to identify the deceased. Those photographs, he said, were shown to him after he decided to turn against members of the Wandan faction of the Klansman gang, including the alleged leader, Andre Blackman Bryan. Previously, the witness testified that Bryan allegedly instructed Morris on how to use the gun to commit the murder. Brian, the witness said, told Morris that he should hold the bottom of the gun because the clip magazine was slack. The witness said on the day of the killing, he saw Morris pull the gun from his waistband and started firing at Rasta. However, the magazine fell from the gun and another gangster called Stennett ran to the victim and shot him, the witness claimed. Morris eventually placed the clip back in place and continued to fire at Rasta before he and another gangster flee from the scene by running to a lane and escape escaping to shelter the witness further testified four hours after a 22 year old man was on tuesday morning fatally shot by a security guard in portmore st catherine his mother was found dead at their home which is also in portmore the young man has since been identified as khalil bent and his mother omega bent 46 year old reports on the police are that about 1 30 a.m tuesday morning Khalil went to Phoenix Park in Portmore and allegedly got into an altercation with a security guard. He was shot dead. Then about 5.30 a.m., residents in another section of Portmore noticed that the grill and door to Khalil home was open and made checks at the premises. His mother, who reported they had a wound to the head, was found dead inside the house. Sources close to the investigation told our news team that for the past two weeks, Khalil has reportedly been behaving violently. Khalil is suspected to have made the attack on his mother before he was fatally shot in another section of Portmore. Now, viewers and subscribers, this is kind of confusing to be honest. I have two videos of this incident and a little picture at the crime scene. Now, in one of the video, we can clearly see him a tear the gate open. The gate seems to be an electric gate where you can use one remote and open or something. But for some reason, we see the young man tearing the gate wide open. When him come through the gate, we realize that he had no clothes whatsoever on. So this man leaving his house in the middle of the night without any clothes at all he also had something in his hand but me can't really tell what it was however in the next video 
must see my walk go down a stretch. It seems to be somewhere in Portmore. I can't tell you where exactly. But he was walking down a road when he saw a car park. This man walk over to the people in car. Fly the door open. You can see clearly he was in an altercation with somebody inside the vehicle. So it's like him fling one of the front door open and the person go over to the next side. Him go round the vehicle to the next front door and was trying to open it. But it seems as if the person closed the door from inside. So him could get to go into the vehicle. Him come all the way back around, fling the door open, go in at the car. And there was an altercation clearly for about a minute or two. Shortly after that, you see the car speed off and go over to the side of the road like it out for crash from you see that happen you know say mm -mm, something all right right there so he then speed goes straight down the road and that was the end of the video but because he had no clothes on in the video me can't show over yes so you know the thing go youtube have them policies and we can't go against that. So from you interested in seeing the full unedited version of the video, you can find it down below in the description of this video where you will see a link to the Telegram group. Just click on the link, you automatically join the group and this video, those video will be there waiting on you. If you don't know how to go down in the description, just run on over to our Instagram page. Ensure so you follow the page, then you run go straight in our DM and ask for the link. It will be provided to you as soon as possible. But back to what me I say, people. Later, we just see a picture pop up with the same vehicle right off with a next van. So nothing more than this man speed go down the road, lick up in our next vehicle and mash up the people in vehicle. It seems as if the security guard was driving that vehicle and an altercation developed between the two. And then this man was shot and killed by the security guard. Now I think it is safe for us to say it seems as if this young man was not mentally stable. In a looks at all. So basically, him had an argument with mom before him leave. Him use a stone. Words in the street is that this man use a stone and mash up the wall of mommy head and mommy never recover. In addition to that, it was said that he has been behaving like that for the past few weeks. So right there and then we can see say, something not right with him upper part time head. Now we don't know if mommy made any effort in getting any treatment for him or anything. But things take a lift and this was the outcome. I don't know normally when I can show the video, mother play the recording and stuff. But it is a live CCTV footage. No sound of the day. So I want to just have to come over the group, go watch it, see what I talk about. And then when I can hold a reasoning. No viewers and subscribers, I would love to hear what are your thoughts on these stories down below in the comment section. Remember, everybody's opinion valid. So I'm not afraid to leave your thoughts down there. We have made it to the end of our next video. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next time. I'm out and stay blessed and stay safe.